So I'm from here, Houston. Grew up my whole life in basically the Klein area. Yeah, so I did struggle pretty significantly with like depression, not feeling loved, not feeling like anyone really cared about me at a very young age. I mean, it made me feel like I was a loser, like I was like a, a burden. My depression definitely followed me through middle school, through high school. Like I really just wanted to be a part of something. And I was like, I wanna be, I wanna belong. I want to, I just wanna be a part of anything. So I joined the Air Force, like right out of high school. I wanted brothers, I wanted to feel belonged. I wanted to feel like I was a part of something. Um, and that was absolutely not what I got at all. It was real tough for me because I, I never necessarily reached out to people. Laying in my bed in my, in my room in my apartment was like absolutely like my like little just depression square. I would be like telling myself often how like, I'm not living, I'm just existing. Most of the time it was absolutely just dark thoughts. Like how can my life be this way? How can nothing ever be changing? And how could God do this to me? You know, like if you really are real, like then how come you're doing this stuff to me? Why am I going through all this? So I remember this, uh, specifically this one time sitting in South Korea, snowing. I was on the tarmac waiting for my pilot to come. And I just remember I was bawling like my eyes out. And then like I just remember like kind of processing through my feelings and realizing like that nothing has, ch nothing has changed and nothing is ever going to necessarily change. I decided to kind of formulate this plan on how I wanted to end my life. Um, and I remember specifically in that very moment, like now looking back at it, that, like it was God, you know, and he pressed on me. He was like, just go back to Houston. And so like I just remember like kind of clinging onto that, being like, okay, like I'll give it like a month in Houston and if nothing happens in a month once I get to Houston, then then I'll go through with this. So I've known Matt for 16 years. Um, we first met when I was in fourth grade. Honestly, had no clue for the longest time that he was going through depression. Matt's always been a very personable, outgoing, funny, generous guy. Just by chance, he was hanging out with one of my close friends and they decided to come hang out over at my house. Uh, I said, well, hey, I have to go to uh, this thing called Young Adults at Faith Bridge. And again, I didn't really quite know where Matt was standing in his um, walk of faith at the time, but I figured I might as well invite him. And then he just consistently kept going. He would text me, hey, when are you going to common room again? Or, you know, when's this happening? Or is there any events coming up? It was the third week that I went that um, the message was just only about like just the story of Christ and the story of Jesus. Really like just focusing on like the weight of what Jesus is, um, did for us, like the, like Jesus' actions and what like the weight of that was. And um, like, I just remember like I was just getting so mad and angry and I was like, if all that stuff is true, what he's saying up on that stage, then why the heck have I never seen Christ in my life? Nowhere have you tried to rescue me or try to save me. Like in my head, you know, in my spirit, like I'm wrestling with him hard. And then like he just gave me a vision that like I could just like see every moment of like me growing up and even like in, while I was in the military of like times where he was trying to reach out to me and trying to like push for me or trying to like call out to me. And like I was just turning my back every time. It like really humbled me and like opened up my eyes to like realize like I was choosing to look at the bad parts. I was always focusing on the negatives. I was always like hyper focusing on like how like terrible my life was, not how great it was and how many like other blessings he was giving me. It was kind of not necessarily like a immediate overnight, like now I'm recommitted, now I'm saved, but I was like gradually willing to let him come more and more in my life. Well, God, you're telling me I can become fully loved. I can be, I can belong somewhere. And I was like, that's what I've always wanted. The next step I took was I went to a Bible study. I remember I going to this grow, this grow group and uh, they're like so sweet because they like, they let me share the whole, my whole testimony. All details, like details that maybe I shouldn't have shared. In that moment, those people knew like every dark thing about me. They knew like all my secrets, like every nasty thing that like I probably wouldn't want anyone to know. And like I even shared with them how I was struggling with suicide. Like I learned like what it really meant to be loved by people. Like I think sharing my testimony initially for the very first time, honestly provided like the most healing in my heart for me because in that moment's when I realized like I was still loved and I was still cared about and in that moment I realized like this is this is the kind of thing I want to pursue like this is the people I want to be around these are the people I want to continue to invest in and I was like and I think like I've kind of found like what God uh, was telling me in South Korea to, like this is what I was supposed to come back home for I truly did feel like so much more alive and I truly did feel like I was like living my life finally for the first time so the change in Matt was huge it was also new to him. He had no idea that he was sharing his testimony. He had no idea that he was actively listening to God. It was all just brand new. And it was cool to see that. And like, it opened my eyes so much to the fact that just something simple like that 
can change someone's life. Just being obedient to what God calls you when you feel that little tug at your heart of, maybe I should invite them, maybe I should go talk to them and say hi, or just whatever, doing a small act of kindness has a huge impact on somebody's life. What I love so much about the gospel is that it can, it like it is never, it never stops teaching and it never stops growing me. I've been to that point where there's nothing left for me to live for. I believe that the way Jesus was able to reach me was, was through my friend Jeff, um, that he used his faithfulness and his um, commitment to the Lord to then reach out to me. Um, and like, if Jesus never used those avenues, if Jesus never really reached out to me or chased me, um, I 100% would not be here anymore.